Audi e-tron GT Whether you like it or not, electric vehicles are the way of the future. That implies that whether you want a tiny vehicle or an SUV in a few years, it's more likely to be electric. The third electric car in Audi's portfolio may be the most intriguing to date. This year, the e-tron GT arrives quietly but quickly, with plenty of power and a tech-friendly cabin. So is the Audi e-tron GT the most incredible electric car you can purchase if an electric vehicle suits you? What does it look like? And what features does it come with? Stay tuned to the end of the video for the full analysis review of the new Audi e-tron GT. Some of its features are absolutely stunning. The e-tron GT got a strong start since it has the same foundations and technology as the Porsche Taycan. Like the Taycan, its stunning aesthetics is expected to attract as much attention as its environmental credentials. The body of work has been extended to give the GT a broad and low stance, bulging arches, and a coupe-like roofline. All of the typical Audi aesthetics components are there and proper. Even while stopped at a charging station, it appears to be quick. The Matrix-style LED headlights on the e-tron GT emit a striking glow that will make an impression. Optional Audi laser lights with expressive X-ray trim increase visibility range and give you more confidence on the road. From the ground up, there was a deliberate design. The Audi e-tron GT has a fixed panoramic roof for a roomy and open sensation. The RS variant has a lightweight carbon fiber top that lowers the center of gravity for better performance as well. The Audi e-tron GT was created to be as functional as it is attractive. Its commanding, broad stands and subtle modifications improve its performance. By boosting downforce at high speeds, the motorized rear spoiler helps stability. Meanwhile, adaptive air suspension completes the aerodynamic optimization by directing the flat underbody into a larger diffuser. But how does it feel being inside the cabin? Although Audi extensively uses environmentally sourced trim materials like vegan leather and reclaimed wood finishes, the interior design is modest and even classic. The fit and finish are excellent, as one would expect from an Audi of this caliber. The e-tron GT's interior combines whimsical and practical components. The interior has an angular dashboard with various digital screens and expensive detailing. Audi provides leather inside in a variety of colors, as well as a leather-free interior made of recyclable materials. Of course, there are plenty of luxurious options to choose from. Some of the features available include ambient interior lighting, a head-up display, heated and cooled front seats with massaging features, and more. The flat bottom steering wheel not only adds to the cockpit's high performance feel, but also feels soft and durable thanks to the Alcantara leather. The feeling of sitting in the driver's seat is likely to boost your heart rate when paired with the aluminum shift paddle. Front seat passengers are low to the ground, allowing for a more athletic driving stance. The legroom is plentiful in the back outboard seats, but headroom is limited and the center seat is more polite than comfortable. Luggage may be stored behind the back seats and in the front trunk beneath the hood. A holistic view inside of the cabin is somewhat less futuristic than one might anticipate from Audi's new premium electric sedan. Although the virtual cockpit instrument display and center touchscreen are cutting edge, you don't get the same wall-to-wall -wall tech as some competitors' extended dual displays. Audi has been able to achieve the feeling of getting into an electric vehicle without feeling the have shifted from your internal combustion automobile. And when it comes to infotainment, it's absolutely stunning. While the e-tron's GT infotainment system isn't as touchscreen heavy as the A7 sedan and the e-tron SUV, it's nevertheless visually appearing and packed with popular content. The 10.1-inch center touchscreen is compatible with steering wheel controls and voice recognition software. It comes with wireless charging, a powerful 16-speaker bang and Allison sound system, and a subscription-based Wi-Fi hotspot. Audi's MM1 Touch navigation system runs on a 10.1-inch color display in the dashboard, linked to the 12.3-inch virtual cockpit screen in the dash in front of the driver, which substitutes a traditional instrument pack. The Audi wireless smartphone interface, wireless charging, and a three-year Audi Connect membership are also included. Some other features include a Bang & Olufsen 3D premium sound system with the Vorsprung trim level, as well as a variety of driving aids including a night vision assistant, a head-up display, parking assistance, and adaptive cruise control. And possibly to the more interesting part, how much power does it produce and how does it handle? The e-tron GT rises to the occasion with a ride and handling setup that's outstanding. The standard e-tron GT generates up to 522 horsepower. At the same time, the RS version delivers 637 horsepower thanks to a pair of electric motors that provide an electrified version of Audi's Quattro all-wheel drive system. With its revolutionary two-speed gearbox, which includes a first gear for launches and a second top gear for maximum efficiency, this power is transferred to exciting acceleration. 
Because of its sophisticated mechanism, the battery pack can withstand multiple cycles without showing symptoms of heat-related damage. Audi's sporty EV also avoids traditional one-pedaling driving in favor of a more natural feel. All-wheel steering, adjustable air suspension, and wheel sizes ranging from 19 to 21 inches are offered on the e-tron GT. There are four drive modes to choose from, with comfort being the most suitable to your needs. It's wonderfully soft, with an underlying stiffness that feels very Audi-like, and body roll is virtually non-existent, so you'll seldom need to use the sportier dynamic option. This changes the power bias to the rear wheels, allowing for rear-wheel drive-like drifts on the track if you're inclined while also firming up the ride and handling. And when it comes to the front electric motor and the e-tron GT Quattro, it produces 235 braking horsepower, while the rear produces 429 braking horsepower, with the car's overall maximum power of 469 braking horsepower is far less than the sum of its parts. The rear motor's output is increased to 450 braking horsepower in the RS for a total of 590 braking horsepower or 637 braking horsepower in boost mode, resulting in a 3.3 second 0 to 62 mile per hour speed. The RS has a top speed of 155 miles per hour, while the basic e-tron Quattro has a top speed of 152 miles per hour. Although you wouldn't anticipate an EV to require changing gears, the e-rear Tron's motor does feature an automatically selecting two-speed gearbox with a low ratio for maximum acceleration. The e-tron's GT steering, on the other hand, has the directness and accuracy that makes it simple to put the front end in turns while remaining calm and unfussy on the highway, a trade-off that many drivers will undoubtedly appreciate. The air suspension efficiently hides the car's weight over all but the most severe bumps, and our Vorsprung test car's four-wheeling steering shrinks the turning cycle to that of a family hatchback. Cast iron discs are standard, with carbon discs available as an option. The dual electric motors also provide regenerative braking. It's handy, but the braking impact isn't as strong as Nissan's Leafs, and Audi hasn't refined the system to the point where you can drive in stop-and-go traffic using only the accelerator pedal. The vehicle also has a sound package offered for drivers unaffected by the enchantment of electric power. It provides digital engine sounds of the cabin and exhaust notes for the benefit of passers-by. And what about its charging power and range? The 94 kilowatt battery in both variants of the e-tron GT is identical, although the RS model's greater power inevitably influences the range. The e-tron GT Quattro has a maximum capacity of 298 miles, and the RS e-tron GT has a full range of 283 miles. Still, you can anticipate these statistics to decrease drastically if you dig into the fantastic performance at frequent intervals. The available range may be lacking compared to the Tesla Model S's state range of 412 miles, but the Audi counters a quickly charging capability of 270 kilowatts versus 225 kilowatts for the Model S. However, most drivers will be satisfied with the ability to travel that far on a single charge, and the e-charging Tron states will gather more attention than the expected range. And now you might be asking, how can I afford the new Audi e-tron GT? Well, the introductory price of the e-tron GT Premium Plus is $99,900. It features two electric motors that provide up to 522 horsepower combined and a driving range of up to 238 miles. So, what are your thoughts on Audi's e-tron GT? Do you believe that Audi e-tron GT is the right electric car for you? That's all from this video. We'll catch you in the next one.